What's up guys, Sila here with another guide for you. This is going to be a non-combat pet guide on the Black Tabby Cat. And unlike the other cats, this is quite a lot harder to get. It's on a really low drop rate in comparison. Now, there's a couple of methods you'll be able to get this pet from. The first of all is the Satchel of Exotic Goods or Exotic Mysteries from the Dungeon Call to Arms. But this is usually only available to tanks and sometimes healers and even then... Depending on your realm, it might not be available at all. But basically, when there's a lack of tanks, you'll be able to queue as a tank and get a little reward, and it'll have a chance of dropping from that bag. It's not guaranteed. The next method is from farming. So, if we head to Hillsbrad Foothills, in this zone, the pet will be on a 1 in 8,000 drop chance. It's between a 1 in 8,000 or a 1 in 10,000. A few places report 8, a few places report 10. So, we'll say 8. So, the first place we're going to farm is the Sludge Fields. Now this is a really good place to farm, the mobs here are very close together, have quite a good respawn rate. The only issue is if you've done the quest chain, then the mobs will be phased out, and you won't be able to kill them anymore. The next place is just north of the Sludge Fields, you'll find an Alliance Camp. And there'll be plenty of Stormpike Engineers here, first of all. To the left of the Stormpike Engineers, you'll find Stormpike Trainees. Once again, very close together, and they have quite a quick respawn rate. And then finally, if you head to the left again, we'll find another hill which has Stormpike soldiers on it. So, these are three good places to find the mobs on a, a decent respawn rate, and there's a lot of them quite close together, so you'll just be able to pick them all up and AoE them down. Now, just below here, you'll find a cave full of yetis. If you clear out all three hills and you have no more mobs to kill, you can head here and clear out the cave of yetis, or you can just find this cave anyway, if you want, basically. There's... A lot of yetis in here, you can group them all up, AOE them down. They have a decent respawn rate. The final place we're going to head to is Gungarok, uh, Dungarok, which you'll find a lot of Gun uh, Dungarok spirits. And in that place you'll find loads of them inside, just run through and clear them out. So, that's all the places. The good thing about Hillsbrad is there's a lot of places you'll be able to farm. A lot of the areas have a lot of mobs that are grouped up that you'll be able to farm through. Also here, you'll be able to get the Singing Sunflower pet. There's a quest in Hillsbrad to get that pet. So if you want to get that pet while you're here, I'll add the link to that guide in the description. But yeah, so good luck getting the cat. You can also sell it, it is BOE. So good luck. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.